special methods for arithmetic are needed right now because we are just swimming in functions. Add rational, mole rational, add complex, mole complex. Why can't we just use plus and times? Well, actually we can. So there are special method names that let us implement some behavior for those operators on user-defined classes. So adding instances of user-defined classes is the same as calling a special method called underscore underscore add. So how does this work? Well, in my rational class, in addition to whatever else is there, I can define a method called underscore underscore add underscore underscore. So that's a special method name that takes in the thing I'm adding, that's to the left of the plus, and the thing I'm adding it to, that's the thing to the right of the plus, which we'll call self and other respectively. And in this case, with a rational number, we can just call add rational to do the work of adding these things together. So then I can say rational one third, rational one sixth, add those together and get one half without calling add rational. Now we are in fact calling add rational behind the scenes when Python sees this plus operator combining two objects that are instances of user defined class. Then on the first object, it looks up the add method. If one of those exists, then it calls it where rational one third is self and rational one sixth is other. And those are passed to add rational, which does the actual addition. And we can also add complex numbers, even with multiple representations. Let's just do all that now. Okay, so here's our rational implementation. We want to add a special method name called add, which takes in self and some other thing and returns the result of adding rational self and other. And likewise, if we want to multiply two rational numbers together, then we'll return the result of multiplying those rational numbers. So, what happens when we multiply two thirds by three eighths? Well, the three should cancel. So we should get two over eight, which is one over four, which is exactly what we get. Excellent. Now what about multiplying and adding complex numbers? We have two different complex number classes, but both of them are added and multiplied in the same way. So if we want, we can use a base class in order to share behavior between these two classes. So a complex number is something that we can add to another complex number using the add complex function that we've already defined. And to multiply together two complex numbers, we'll just call mall complex. Now, how do we make sure that these are accessed regardless of which class I use? Well, I can just make complex the base class of both of these two classes that represent the same thing. So it's interesting that we never really had to make these both subclasses of a common base class before because they didn't actually share any implementation. But now they do. They share this behavior of how we add them together. So we might as well just make them subclasses of the same base class. Now, just um, repeating the example that I had before, if I create one version of I made out of real and imaginary components, another one made out of a magnitude and an angle, and I multiply those together, then I get a representation of the number negative one, which has magnitude one in the direction pi, which is in the negative real direction. So let's say uh, we have negative one here and we want to add it to, let's say um, two plus two i. 
2 plus 2i plus what we had before, and we get 1 plus 2i. So negative 1 plus 2 is 1, and we keep the 2i. Okay, so we've defined arithmetic, and moreover, we can now use the built-in plus and times operators, which really just defer to these special method names in order to do the work.